Hey everybody, JT here. And who else is excited to talk about SEO tools? I know I am. Okay. Most people don't get all that excited about their software as service tools. This is an exciting topic because it's going to help you be more competitive as a digital marketer. You're here to learn about why SpyFu is the first tool that I recommend all digital marketers to get. The first thing I want to show you is the pricing because beginner digital marketers really care about pricing and so do you know expert digital marketers but they usually have bigger budgets to manage all those things it's widely known that semrush is one of the premier tools on the internet um and you know they say ebay uses it Quora uses it um and i know people who use it and i do recommend it it's a pretty good tool but let me take a look at the pricing here and first thing you'll notice is it costs 99 per month um and they recommend spending $200 per month. I don't know about you, but as a solo entrepreneur, that's kind of a big price. I'm not saying you can't pay it. And I'm not saying SimRush is not a good software. It's a great software to use, has robust features, and it's pretty good. Um, but for beginners, it's just not quite there, uh, especially when you consider the limitations that it gives you, even when you're spending $99 a month. Puts all these limitations on number of keywords to track, pages to crawl, um, you know, PDF reports, number of users who can log in, all those things. Some of these are limited by all softwares, but some of these limitations are unique to SEMrush, and they're just trying to get you to upgrade into bigger plans. However, again, like it's a great software. I'm going to stop talking about them, but if you want to learn more, you can click the link in the description for SimRush. Instead, we're talking about SpyFu. And rather than paying $99 a month, you're going to pay $39 a month for a basic package. And the basic package has no such limitations on number of keywords you can look at, um, number of reports you can download, all those things. Now, it's going to have some limitations, but overall, it's very unlikely that you need to upgrade until you have a big team and you're working with a big business that has multiple users and all those things. But for most people, 39 a month is all you're going to spend on SpyFu, which is you know, three to six times less than you'll spend on SimRush. I'm logged back into my SpyFu account, and let me show you one of the biggest features that helps this be the first tool that any digital marketer should buy, um, and a tool that all digital marketers should have in their arsenal. So take a look, popular tutorials. Um, they make it very easy for you to learn how to use the tool, learn what each thing in the tool can help you build, um, teaches you strategy, teaches you all these things that once you use this, you might not even need my YouTube channel. Okay, maybe that's not true. My YouTube channel teaches advanced tactics. SpyFu has these features that'll teach you some beginner tactics and tactics that can help you move along. Um, used in tandem with my YouTube channel, this is gonna be fantastic training. Uh, but you know, anything from improving your Google rankings um, and just amazing tips and all these things. So definitely recommend checking those out. And it's that, that one is one thing that makes this very beginner friendly. But let me go ahead and just give you a full run of the software. First thing I would want to do if I'm researching an industry is find out all about the main keyword of that industry. So I'm going to use a silly example. Let's say we're starting a mayonnaise company, right? I want to make some mayonnaise. My grandma has a great recipe for mayonnaise. And uh, this isn't actually true. My grandma has never made me mayonnaise, but I assume if she did make mayonnaise, it would be fantastic. Anyway, uh, let's say I'm making a mayonnaise business. You'll notice the best advertiser, the number one advertiser in the mayonnaise space is Hellman's. So if you're doing any uh, advertising in the mayonnaise space, you'll want to beat Hellman's. This is the ad they use. So fantastic area here that shows you the ads that, that your competitors use. Um, and so this seems like maybe Hellman's is testing an ad. Uh, responsibly sourced, question mark? Who knows? Uh, anyway. You can see the organic rankings, and most of these organic rankings are going to be recipes or how-to articles for a mayonnaise search. But you know, this is a good opportunity for you to come in and say, "I'm the number one mayonnaise company, and you should buy all my mayonnaise." Uh, it'll even show you where the backlinks come from on the mayonnaise space, uh, and it'll show you the organic ranking analysis is for all your competitors and their articles. So even down to the point where you can see what article that they ranked for how many clicks they're estimated to be getting. Like it's just very in-depth and easy to read. Here are the related keywords. This is a really powerful section. Um, you know, flavored mayonnaise, garlic mayonnaise, chipotle mayonnaise. If I were to create a mayonnaise company 
and I wanted to find out what flavors should I explore next? What products should I try? Um, and even what articles should I write? I'm going to go down this list and I'm going to say, ooh, people are interested in organic mayonnaise. I'm going to make an article about why my mayonnaise is the most responsibly sourced, why it's organic, all these things. Spicy mayonnaise. Even if I don't own a spicy mayonnaise recipe or blend uh, that people can buy off the shelf, I can teach them how to make spicy mayonnaise with JT's Mayonnaise Company. Um, let's see if I can have a world record for saying man mayonnaise the most in a YouTube video. Let me read a poem I wrote. Mayonnaise, 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 mayonnaise. Now we get into where SpyFu really shines, and that is taking over your competitor's traffic, whether it's SEO or PPC traffic. Um, so we're in the SEO research tab. We typed in our competitors, hellmans.com. Um, and of course, we're still in the mayonnaise space because after writing that poem, I'm just really inspired. But let's take a look at our competitor. So Hellman's main organic competitors are bestfoods.com, which I'm guessing has recipes, Duke's Mayo, which sounds like a mayo company, Blue Plate Mayo. So this is a great spot to discover more competitors in my may mayonnaise space. Um, and then you can check out what are the keywords that these competitors share? Instead of bestfoods.com, I'm going to do uh, blueplatemayo.com. And let's check out where they overlap. You know, they share overall 26 keywords. We click that section, and now we can see what are they all sharing. They share the keywords mayo brands, brand mayonnaise, mayonnaise brands. And I want to find out where Hellman's and Duke's mayo overlap, but I don't. This is where I take a look at the keywords shared between those two. Um, and now we're looking recipe for deviled eggs with mayo and mustard. So maybe I should write an article and make a little more competition into our competition space. Then I can also look what are unique to Hellman's.com. And oh, look, macaroni salad. Hellman's.com is running some macaroni salad recipes, ads, products, all those things. So if I want to invade their competitive space, then I'm, that's what I'm going to look at. Now, let's say I want to take over my competitor's uh, PPC traffic. This is a great place I can check out their advertisements. Um, so again, you enter your competitor up here, and then you look at ad history and most profitable ads and keywords for Hellman's.com. They recommend that people check out their burger recipe, which is a great strategy. I'm sure their burger recipe requires Hellman's mayonnaise on it. I wouldn't have thought of that just typing in mayonnaise into this software. But by figuring out what your competitor's strategy is, you might find out that serving ads for sandwich recipes is the best way to sell your mayonnaise. The final feature I want to show you on SpyFu because I find it super useful is this projects tab. Uh, you open it up and you can create projects for yourself and for your competitors. So let's start off by um, targeting Hellman's.com, my competitor. Let's set up a mayonnaise group here. So now I'm tracking 100 something keywords. Now it's going to update these numbers as it's tracking these keywords, and it'll just give you so much information about your competitors and about your own business. Now, what did we learn today? Well, first of all, if you're in the mayonnaise industry, watch out, I'm coming for you. If you wanna try out SpyFu or purchase it, make sure you use the link in the description. It'll give you a free trial and pass along any other deals that SpyFu creates in the future. So make sure you use that link. If you're interested in watching more marketing tactics, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll be publishing more videos soon. See you later.